Uh, hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my YouTube channel. So I will start with the story behind it. Since I started to uh, to give lectures about the industrial automation in the Nazarbayev University, uh, you can maybe have a look here at the, the web page of the course, and I started to use Cardasys as one of the simulation softwares in my class. Why? Because it was freely available and it's quite easy to use, it's easy to download, get, uh, start to work with and then uh, make some simulations, use different kind of programming languages within the same software. And then uh, one main thing is that it's kind of, uh, it's a platform independent software. It's uh, developed with the Trias company, you can have a look at cardsys.com uh, web page for example and you can uh, also download it from there if you go to their download center you can download the latest version or maybe one of the older versions based on your needs and then use it uh, freely in the simulation mode only so in the simulation mode you can just uh, simulate whatever you want in terms of the programming and also in terms of the visualization without the need to have a real PLC, everything will be done in simulation. And it, it's it's perfect for the learning and teaching purposes, I think. So you can get it from here, and at the same time you can get it from uh, some other resources as well. For example, from the Eaton's, Eaton Corporation's website, it's also available for for free, and you don't need to have an account in it. With the Cardis uh, website, you need to create an account and then sign in, and and afterwards you'll be able to download the software. But it's not a big deal at the end. So one important thing is that, as I already mentioned, it's platform independent. There are a lot of companies, a lot of PLC manufacturers, who are producing PLCs which are compatible with the Cardis. Using Cardis, you have uh, you can program PLCs using the standard. Uh, PSC programming languages such as SFC, CFC, uh, instruction list, uh, letter logic diagram, function block diagram, and so on and so forth. So here is my channel. Uh, I have created, I would say, some videos. Uh, right now they are almost around uh, 60 videos, and I'm, I'm still going on and creating videos but at this point it's uh, for basic level I would say basic level of PSC programming using uh, canvases uh, so here you, you you have access to some uh, pages the first one is the Facebook page of the PSC programming using canvases you can just join to join there and and then if you have anything any questions, any problem, you can post it over there and either I or some other people will try to help you for sure. Another resource that is available here is the uh, Google Plus community for the for the group. So over there you can find videos again. So this is one of the videos about using the up-down counter, for example, in the ladder logic. But over there, I, I also provide some explanation in, in the written form. So for, for the ones of you who are interested more in uh, getting written information, you can refer to there as well. And then our resource that I have here is the uh, web page of the course that I have here in the Nazarbayev University. So you can go there. Over there, we have I have uh, put the explanation about the course. You, you can... Uh, have a look at the lecture notes if you are interested. So I have made them publicly available. And and then here I have somehow categorized the videos that I have created uh, for my channel. I have categorized them into two main parts. One is for the visualization tutorials and the other one is for the programming tutorials. If you click on the visualization tutorials, you will see a list of videos which are prepared for the Cardasys visualization. For example, creating momentary switches. As you can see here with some explanation and then the video itself. On the other hand, if you uh, 
uh, yeah if if you switch to the maybe i go back here if you go to the PSC programming tutorials over there i have created uh, different categories the first one is general which is common for all of them and then i have uh, separated videos for the lld fpd ilsd sfc and cfc programming languages so for example for sfc i have right now there are like four videos for now it will be updated and you will see more videos for example here you have the first video for the sfc with some explanation and then the video itself besides i i think that this would help you in uh, starting to learn PSC programming. Uh, okay, yeah, I think yeah, this is somehow an introduction to to my YouTube channel. I hope you will find the video helpful. If you have any suggestion, if you have any comment or feedback, please let me know by putting the comments under the videos or maybe sending a message to me or providing uh, comments in the Facebook group. There are several ways to do this. Thank you for watching and I hope you, you will like the videos, the channel, and get subscribed for the for receiving the updates. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.